Kia ora and welcome to Barefoot Tracks of Whangarei. This week I am in a piece of bush checking out if Cyclone Gabrielle has done any kind of damage here. Let's go. Oh look, mosquitoes have very quickly come to find me. Ooh, So I've just been clearing the debris off the path as I walk along and I've now come across the first casualties of, that I've seen. Gosh, can you imagine the snap that this would have made as these two trees fell. And this is a young sapling that, wow, look at that snap. Snap! I get that tree fern lost its whole head. That'll grow back though. And then, yeah, there's the crown of the tree. That smash. Okay, so that's broken there. That's not the roots. Where are the roots? Okay, so I've realized that that's actually a branch, which looks really small. You can see here, that is, that is not a small branch. So this poor lady, she's definitely on a lean. bark is very very wet. I'm getting stuff between my toes as I walk. It's hilarious like all freshly fallen. Yeah wow look at all of this. It's like it's had a really good shake out. Well that's some good looking mud. Wow, okay, so here's the next bit of carnage. Look at that scratch mark down, all the way down that tree, actually. Look at these two tall buddies standing with all the carnage around them. I'm gonna carefully navigate my way over this. Okay, this is what I was saying, oh wow, to. Massive slip here. Big trees have come down. Here are some previous falls. We just uh, cut our way through them and carry on. This would be my path. I tell you what, with all this beautiful Rimu on the path now, it's much softer. It's really nice. Look how beautiful and idyllic this corner is. The tree ferns creating perfect umbrellas. Oh, never miss a chance to do a bit of weeding while we're here. Wow, it's not so common to see such green, green Tanikaha branches on the forest floor because of course these are mostly healthy and they've just fallen off because of the cyclone. Normally on the forest floor, this is what we see. They turn a beautiful orange when they die all year round. We don't have an autumn here, so we get these colours all year round. Wow, look at this. I don't even know what tree this is. I'll have to look it up. But this is normally way, 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 way up high. I'll show you how tall they are. Ooh, all the way up there. Look, I can make a bouquet out of all the fallen branches. Trickling down from here. But look, its normal pathway has been turned into a dam, so one thing that my uh, Māori cultural advisor said to me was that after big storms, they would go out and check all the streams and make sure that they were all free running again, particularly for the tuna or the eels that was one of their food sources. Freshwater eels need to have uh, clear streams, obviously, so that's one little job that we can do here. And then this will stop flooding the track, causing a mess and start flowing back down to the 
bigger stream that's down there. So that was literally like two minutes, and yes, I did get dirty, but hey, there's water here to clean me. Do the rest of the day. Okay, Kiki. That's it from Barefoot Tracks this week. Have a great week and put your feet into nature. Do 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 do